ready for the dictation. Three, two, one, start. A student's high school career should be about discovering new knowledge and discovering who you are, not about what you were. Female students were warned that this style of dress was extremely disruptive for guys at their school according to a group of high school girls protesting a ban on tank tops and leggings can clothes affect your ability to get an education does enforcing a dress code appeal to men but not women it is absurd that the idea of a young man wearing leggings annoys a male student and makes him unable to read. Students should be able to express their feelings about their fashions. The dress code limits them because it minimizes, discriminates against them sexually creates physical embarrassment and fills war of self-confidence within them. Having a dress code does not prevent students from wearing what they want. It prevents them from expressing their personality. By telling us not to dress, they are destroying our divisions as individuals and cultures. People often express their style, who they are and what they believe in what they wear. Students reserve certain constitutional rights to free speech and when young people are in school, decisions about their appearance are essential. The dress code applies to gender for all female students as dress codes apply only to women. For male students, it is acceptable to sew your trousers, but if you are a woman and your shirt overexposes your body, it is against the law and you are forced to change are our school dress code. For women, the school says that students are not allowed to wear any clothing considered offensive to any staff, which means not to cloth brand with images or logos that express illicit, discriminatory and racist views. Students have restrictions on clothes that do not belong to these listed items and as they are not allowed to wear shirts that are four fingers long or below their shoulders, all sorts should be finger lengths and no cleavage can be displayed. Male students can wear whatever they want, their shorts can be as short as they wish, their shoulders can be sewn when wearing tank tops and the only rule is that men and women gathered together will have no rips or tears in their jeans. This dress code fails to be close to help what managers don't think about when they impose restrictions on the students' tightness of their pants or the length of their girls' clothes themselves is not just their clothes but the feelings of these young women, their thoughts, even their sex personal image. Instead, these boundaries are imposed on the disturbed minds of young men while girls are exposed to sexual threats 
that need to be eliminated. School dress restrictions can create a problem. The school district aims to solve the stigma of teenage girls. When you tell her what to wear, you say to the girl that you control her body. If you own a girl's body, even if it is for her benefit, you take her agency. He tells her that her body is not hers. When many girls hate the way their bodies look, schools should not use the law to humiliate a person's body by telling him to cover his already sensitive skin. Many young people spend years worrying about what they will wear to school. The dress code is more disruptive than the clothes people wear without it. A good learning environment is where we respect each other no matter what happens in our lives and our thoughts that we are still young going on that day. So just quit your current job and ask yourselves what's most disturbing the girl's dress or the law itself. The school dress code should be removed entirely from the school districts. The student's attire is the way they express themselves and it helps to show how all the students are all together different in their unique way. Students can express themselves by enforcing the dress code which can be different because this law has many limitations. The dress code is restrictive, discriminatory and shameful. Students should wear what they like to express their freedom. A student's right to express themselves as long as it is not harming someone should never be denied. Not every student can easily write a poem or paint a portrait about how they feel, but all students can use cloths to show who they are and how they feel. When a student is told that they have to change, it almost like saying they have to change who they are too. Clothes are the most important part of a first impression. They allow a student to pride not only in what they are wearing but for their school or their sports team or the play they got cast in. Stop. Thank you. क्या चाहिए बदले में हमें बस एक प्यारा सा लाइक तो इस वीडियो को लाइक कर देना और सब्सक्राइब कर दो यार सब्सक्राइब यार सभी की मांगे मैं पूरी करता हूँ मेरी एक ही तो मांग रहती है कि सब्सक्राइब कर दो चैनल को जिन्होंने नहीं किया है कर दो यार आज जोड़ के विनती है